Welcome to part two of my video about curves in Lightroom and Camera Raw. We're going to look at one more photograph here. And in this image of Aspen's, I've already taken out all those defaults, so brightness and contrast are at zero. The tone curve is straight. You can see that the image is rather dark and uh, the histogram is kind of pushed over here to the left. If I put the brightness at plus 50, it's actually an improvement here because it's basically an underexposed photograph. So here's a situation where having that default setting, the brightness at plus 50, I think helps the image. Nevertheless, I am still going to start with that set at zero. If I want to lighten an image, I prefer to start by moving the white point if I have room to do so. And I have a lot of room to do that here. You can see that there's a big gap between the brightest pixels in the image and the right edge of the histogram. So I'm going to slide that white point over, remembering again to always keep that along the top, and push it over as far as I can go without blowing out any highlights. Um, and then I think this needs still even more contrast, so I'm going to make a bit of an S-curve here, and I've both lightened the image and increased contrast by moving the white point and then adding a bit of an S-curve on top of that, and that's really brought the image to life. Now one thing I should point out here is that if I'm going to take an image from Lightroom or Camera Raw into Photoshop, I might and probably would take out the extra brightness and contrast, in other words set these at zero, and make the curve straight before I bring it into Photoshop, but I wouldn't do anything else with this curve. I would leave that for Photoshop I think you have more flexibility if you don't add any contrast in Lightroom or Camera Raw. You don't want to bring an image into Photoshop with too much contrast because you'll find it impossible to take it out and we'll have to go back and start over again. But if I'm going to process the image directly in Lightroom or in Camera Raw, then I certainly would add a curve like I just did. So let's take a look at Adobe Camera Raw. And in Adobe Camera Raw, we have all the same settings as, as you'll find in Lightroom, just arranged differently. So in this tab, the basic panel, you find the brightness and contrast settings that I was talking about, and the defaults are the same, plus 50 and plus 25. If you want to set those at zero, you can just enter those numbers in there. And on the next tab over, you'll find the Tone Curve panel. There's the Parametric Curve and the Point Curve. And you just want to be careful if you only look here in the Parametric Curve, you may not see that there is indeed, as a default, some added contrast with that Medium Contrast Curve. So you have to click on this Point Curve tab to see that medium contrast curve and change it, if you want to, to linear. And then within the point curve panel here, you can set a black point, white point, make an S curve, and so forth, just as in the point curve in Lightroom and, of course, in Photoshop. Well, that's it for this time. I'll be posting another video here soon. In the meantime, check out my blog to find other photography tips as well as a bi-weekly photo critique. Thanks for watching.